Good morning. Welcome to OCR News Weekly. Today is Friday, July 7th, 2017. I'm Margaret Schlachter, and thanks for joining us on this live broadcast, or for those listening on their favorite player, our recast of this week's episode. Today's headlines come from Spartan Race, OCR World Championships, and Spartan Ultimate Team Challenge TV show. Spartan Race makes its third stop on the U.S. Championship Tour this weekend in Palmerton, Pennsylvania. Going into this weekend, the women have a three-way tie for first place with Alyssa Hawley, Lindsay Webster, and Nicole Maracle, all tied at 598 points each. In the men's race, Hobie Call leads the series with 599 points. Ryan Atkins is in second with 597 points. And Robert Killian is a point behind Atkins with 597 points. The live coverage starts tomorrow at 7 a.m. Eastern Time on Spartan.com and YouTube for those looking to want to watch the live broadcast of the event this weekend. The next story this week comes from OCR World Championships. It's been a busy week for the OCR World Championships team with announcement of 1,000 podiums being named the official medal hanger of the OCR World Championships and the U.S. Championships this year. The biggest announcement, however, was the addition of the Pure Strength Race Director and CEO Challenge at the OCR World Championships later on this year in Blue Mountain, Canada. From the press release, Strong Bars Nutrition will sponsor the first ever 7-kilometer Pure Strength Race Director and CEO Challenge on Sunday, October 15th, with 100% of proceeds benefiting Make-A-Wish Canada, the official charity partner of the 2017 event. The event will feature a $250 participation fee and is open to all race directors, companies, executives, and professionals, and is expected to garner thousands of dollars in support of the mission of Make-A-Wish. And that is currently open right now. There's no qualification for that. Uh, Again, it's open to race directors, company executives, and professionals. Finally, the last story this week. It's been a slow news week for the obstacle racing industry. However, We wrap up with a story that's really been buzzing around the web this week. Monday night, the popular NBC obstacle race show Spartan Ultimate Team Challenge showcased a team which two athletes could not swim. The athletes fell into the water and both had to be rescued by water safety professionals. The online obstacle racing community is still reeling from the tragic drowning over in Europe And many of those in the industry were very vocal about this part of the broadcast. Many brought into question why the team would be selected for the show. Others wondering why it seemed to take so long for the water safety staff to jump in and help the athletes. While all athletes were safely removed from the water on the episode, it has brought up emotions of many athletes, as we said before. So if you missed the scene and you don't know what we're talking about, you can actually see that scene on our episode recap on mudrunguide.com and judge for yourself what you think about that, that episode. Well, it's been a quiet weekend and week for racing. With North America celebrating two holidays last week, we looked over to Europe, had the OCR European Championships over the weekend. However, some of those final results are yet to be published after there are a few disputes. So as soon as we get those results, we will post them. Otherwise, we look at Terrain Race, which held a race over in Arizona this past weekend. And these are the results looking at that that race in the competitive heat john kindle came in first place chris paps in second place and sean del cerro in third place over on the women's side it was camilla fortino taking first jacqueline taylor second and maggie friedline was in third place rounding out the podium at terrain race arizona Looking ahead this weekend, racing picks back up again after a slow go last weekend with Warrior Dash in Minnesota. Rugged Maniac is in New Jersey. Spartan Race, as we said before, has the U.S. Championship race in Palmerton, Pennsylvania. They also have a race happening in Indiana. And Badass Dash is in Illinois. 
Finally, for the kids here in the in North America, we have the Kids Obstacle Challenge, which takes place in South El Monte, California, and the Kids Sloppy Sprint, which is taking place in Idaho this weekend. In Canada, we have 5K Foam Fest in Saskatchewan, and Mud Hero is in Nova Scotia. Moving outside of North America, X Runner Water Wipeout is in Nottingham, and Muddy Maniacs is taking place in Bury. Both of those are in the UK. And then rounding out the races this weekend, down under, you have Muddy Hell When Hell Freezes Over. That sounds like an interesting event. For the full list of races this weekend, check out our race calendar on mudrunguide.com. And we've got a, that's a short one. We've got a short, not much news this week. So that's it for this week in OCR and OCR News Weekly, powered by Mud Run Guide. Join us next week for all the news and results from around the industry. And if you miss this live broadcast, you can catch this episode and all other episodes on your favorite podcast player and on YouTube. So this is Margaret Schlachter signing off for this week. And for the next two weeks, we'll have guest guest presenters in reading you off the news as I am on vacation. So best of luck to all those racing in the next couple of weeks. Have a fun and muddy weekend, everyone. And, um, and that's it for this week. Bye, everyone. <laughs>